Hi everybody, so I am going to introduce mark making to you um, to create visual texture. And visual texture is, uh, so visual texture. So it appears to have texture um, even though it's smooth, like you can touch it on the paper, right? So it's, it's almost like a, in, instead of petting a cat, you're looking at a picture of a cat's fur, right? That's visual texture, so you can see the texture. So. I'm going to show you guys some, I have this handout uh, that I'll post um, on Google Classroom along with the video. Uh, I have these out in class and we work on um, trying to do the mark making before we turn it into a project. These are the easy ones and then the next level up, um, the Zentangles. So um, it works because it's contrast, right? It's black and white. So I don't have the exact types of pens that we're going to be using in class, so I just found um, up in here. So I'm going to start with, I'll do, um, I like this one here. So it's basically just a bunch of U's uh, and you can, uh, you can get it. Um, you can kind of turn your paper as you work. The trick to making this look right is that there's not a lot of white space. So you don't want to be like that, that, that doesn't, that's, that's not really doing anything. You want them to be, um, you know, close together so that there is not a whole ton of white space in between there. And again, I'm just kind of turning my paper. So it, I don't want it to look like a bunch of U's. I want it to have that visual texture. And I'm kind of filling in any white space that I have. You know, if I space them too far apart, I can go back in there and add another one. Um, I'm giving you two different types of pens. Um, there's a skinny Sharpie and then a fat one. Um, the fat one is really good for kind of filling in kind of black areas like this. And then the skinny one is for kind of more line work like that. So you want to fill in each box with, um, with a different texture. And again, this is basically just you kind of practicing doing this before you work on your actual project um, and I will talk about your actual project tomorrow but today you're just kind of doing the mark making to kind of get your hand in get used to the pen get used to making the marks and how you're supposed to fill them in okay so I can keep going with that one and then on your other one you want to do a different style um, which one do I like uh, I like this one, but I also like that one. Um, so this one, you know, you just kind of like put in some lines. And this is where our fat marker is gonna come in handy. Get the fat guy. And you just kind of add like a little bulkiness there next to it. Kind of just like right on the line. The reason you want to use the fat guy for uh, some of these is because the, the skinny pen is going to run out of ink if you're trying to make, you know, kind of solid black areas. So you want to use the, the fat Sharpie to kind of create that, um, the wider lines, the bolder lines. So you don't use up your, your fine point one. But basically you're creating like a textural pattern using contrast, right? The contrast is that the pen is black and the paper is white. So you're creating that contrast with the black and white and that's what creates visual texture. I think I need one more like right in here. A little too much white space there. You're welcome to come up with um, patterns on your own if you want. Um, this is just kind of like, these are ones that I've made over the years and if a student makes a really good one or comes up with something new, then I add it to my list. Um, so you're welcome to come up with your own, but it's basically, you know, black marks on white paper. So you're going to fill in this whole thing. Um, this one I just kind of made at home because I didn't bring the handout at home with me. I think you've got 20 on the handout and this is a few more, so I'll keep working on this one. But uh, yeah, you're going to create all your visual textures. Have fun.